Good afternoon all. Thank you for the opportunity to speak in this platform. I am Srijit SV, technical lead in uh, transportation business, mainly focusing on off-highway vehicles, which including uh, farm, mining and construction equipment in Tata Luxay. As we know that the trends in farm, mining and construction equipment are autonomous, connectivity and electrification. Here in this session, we are discussing about the autonomous technologies. The autonomous technology is all set to change the dynamics of construction and agriculture industry in the next four to five years. Regulators and transportation safety bodies are including operator assistance features in their roadmap, perception accuracies for detection and prediction of objects in the sites is very crucial in implementing autonomous and operator assistance feature solutions. The increase in architecture complexity and the computational requirements will require the solutions that balance the performance and cost of effectiveness appropriate to. In this session, we discuss three autonomous solutions in farm mining and construction industry, which will improve the safety and efficiency of farm mining and construction equipment. These solutions are arrived based on the discussion with various clients. This, the, the solutions are less endurance testing for the farm equipment, autonomous sand loader, autonomous tractor for farming application. First, we will consider the driverless endurance, endurance testing for tractors. So this autonomous solution package is an add-on for tractors, which is mainly for uh, endurance testing in muddy terrain. So this requirement arrived from the pandemic situation and the thoughts on automating the endurance testing and remote monitoring. So the tractor has to uh, repeatedly move on a particular pattern for days. So this will develop as an add-on for the tractors that would help the OEMs in driverless testing vehicles in a managed environment. So there will be a lot of challenges uh, in uh, developing this uh, driverless uh, endurance testing solution for uh, tractors. So the main challenges and the different uh, steps required for the driverless endurance testing is, first thing is the actuation. So they have to convert the tractors in the autonomous tractor by adding uh, drive-by-wire interfaces for the normal tractors. So which includes uh, various actuators, those will uh, control the brake, steering and uh, throttle and different uh, electromechanical valves for controlling other hydraulic equipment. So, so the total system will act as a drive-by-wire interface or a actuation system for the drive uh, tractor. So this gauge will convert to the normal tractor in the driverless tractor. The next step is uh, the perception system. Perception system includes uh, various sensors for, for the farming and the muddy terrain. There will be a, a lot of dust and uh, other environment uh, factors will affect the sensors. So we have to uh, select suitable sensors for this uh, particular terrain. Here we will consider uh, the camera and uh, LiDAR, 3D LiDAR based solution for the perception system. For the endurance testing, the perception system mainly includes uh, uh, some kind of object detection and uh, classification which will uh, arrive in this uh, multi-testing area but which is, which is uh, low significant to this particular situation. Rather than for the object detection, these sensors are mainly used for the localization and navigation, which is the key part in the endurance testing. In addition to this automation, like control by wire solutions and the perception solution, there will be a lot of other application and solutions required for the endurance testing, like uh, uh, user interface solutions, in vehicle applications, remote applications and other connectivity solutions. So this will help the operator to monitor the driver conditions remotely from some distance or if you are using some cloud-based communication, uh, we can monitor the total endurance testing in 24 hours from a remote control station. So this will help uh, the OEMs to monitor the performance, real-time performance of the vehicle and thus by we can, we can reduce uh, the labor cost and we can operate uh, the tractor in uh, 24 by 7 with uh, dynamic condition and all the environment condition. So the main challenge uh, uh, 
uh, in this endurance testing is the localization and the navigation because for the muddy terrain and due to this uh, dusty environment uh, it's difficult uh, for the sensors to uh, localize uh, the actual position uh, of the tractor to uh, path plan uh, for its particular pattern so we have to provide some static uh, signboards illuminated signboards on the different areas if you are considering some 8.8 .8 pattern and or some other patterns we have to place some uh, static signboards with uh, illumination so which will reflect uh, and the sensors can easily identify the uh, positions of uh, the tractor with respect to the signboard so uh, using these the path planning and localization will be more uh, easier for the autonomous system so this uh, solution will provide an add-on kit for the OEMs for uh, for a continuous testing uh, of their tractors and this will again acts as a plug and play plug and play solutions for uh, for all the variant of the tractors developed by different OEMs the second solution we are going to discuss is autonomous sand loader so the autonomous sand loader is in thought of uh, the view of the health of operator like uh, uh, there will be an autonomous wheel loader which will move from a particular position to another position where the material is loaded and uh, which will collect the materials from that particular area and uh, load it uh, into the truck's dump area so that's that's a basic solution uh, for this autonomous uh, sand loader here the wheel loader uh, has to move autonomously and uh, the truck has to align in a particular position where the autonomous sand loader will register the position of the truck and move from one point to the material area then uh, to the truck position area here uh, uh, as we discussed uh, in the autonomous uh, endurance testing um, for the tractor here again uh, we have to consider different uh, aspects uh, for the autonomous uh, development the first thing is actuation it's a drive by wire interface for the wheel loader and next thing is a uh, perception system and uh, the third thing is uh, localization and uh, path planning so again uh, we can consider the sensors like lidar and uh, camera for the uh, for the perception solutions and uh, for the path planning uh, we can use uh, uh, those uh, lidar based uh, uh, visual odometry and uh, other systems for for path planning even we can use gps based rtk gps based uh, solutions for the localization and uh, navigation but the camera system and the lidar system will uh, detect the tracks position and we can uh, register the positions tracks position uh, in the uh, uh, autonomous system so the wheel loader has to move from one particular area then collect the material then again go to the position of the truck where it already registered and the dump the uh, materials in addition to that uh, the sensors used in the wheel loader can scan the uh, terrain and the dump bed area for the uh, position of the truck and uh, accurately uh, dump the materials onto the uh, uh, truck uh, the main uh, difference between the endurance testing and the autonomous sand loader is here we have to for the wheel loader uh, there will be uh, an am kind of thing so it's, it's a moving uh, doser so we have to uh, critically align the sensors uh, on top of the vehicle because this will be positioned uh, above the height of the wheel loader approach area the main challenges uh, in this solution is aligning the loader uh, vehicle uh, to the receiver truck and distributor uh, material in the truck's uh, dump area and also the path planning in the unstructured environment are the key challenges in this autonomous sand loader again this will uh, if you are implementing this particular solution uh, in the construction industry using track and wheel loader we can improve the safety and uh, efficiency of the total system next the third solution we are going to discuss is autonomous tractor for the farming application which is an another uh, important requirement uh, for the farm industry so again uh, we have to consider both our uh, guidance and localization perception system and uh, actuation systems are uh, required for implementing this autonomous tractor so as we discussed uh, in the endurance testing the same actuation system can be 
used for this autonomous tractor as a plug and play device. And uh, also consider the perception system. Here uh, we have to consider the object detection and classification. And also the localization and navigation is another major steps for the autonomous tractor. Because uh, here the environment is unstructured and uh, it will be a, a, a large area. So, so using these sensors, we have to map the entire area for, for which will access the global path. And on top of the global path, uh, we have to calculate the local path planning using RTK based GPS system and other uh, sensors like uh, 3D LiDAR. So we will get point cloud data from the 3D LiDAR as well as the studio camera using this point cloud and RTK based uh, GPS system. We can easily path plan uh, the uh, tractor. In addition to that, uh, we can we can define some particular patterns. Uh, the tractor has to move onto the farm, and we can store it in a remote uh, visual uh, application. And the operator can select one particular area based on the uh, farm field, and uh, uh, this will this will act as a remote control uh, for the operator from uh, uh, other uh, remote station. So the main challenges in autonomous tractors for the farming application is guidance and localization. So the guidance and localization in unstructured environment and precision control are the significant uh, challenges in this sector. So various localization approach are uh, uh, required uh, for, uh, for the autonomous tractor operation. So all these solutions, autonomous solutions, uh, will uh, increase the safety and uh, efficiency of the off-highway vehicles. As I mentioned, uh, all these three solutions are based on the discussions with uh, various clients and uh, Catalyxi have the total solutions for implementing these three autonomous solutions in both farm uh, and mining and construction industry. So uh, the various algorithms are involved uh, for uh, implementing these solutions in the farm mining and construction equipments. So uh, Catalyxi have the expertise and we have ready-made IP algorithms uh, for, for implementing all these autonomous solutions in farm mining and construction equipments.